Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. Now in the last video I mentioned that um, I was getting very close to reaching the 500 subscriber count. Um, I would just like to put it out there that due to all of you wonderful viewers uh, we finally reached that milestone. I am now over the 500 mark. Uh, so again, thank you so much for um, for taking your time just to to watch my channel and to and to support it as it goes along. I honestly do appreciate it so much. Having said that, if you are new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the bell notification and the subscription button so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Now. Moving along to today's video, I am going to be reviewing this, the Russell's Reserve 10-year-old um, bourbon. This has been released by Wild Turkey. Uh, it is bottled at 45% ABV. Now, let's pour some into the glass and see what we get. Uh, needless to say, I am quite a big fan of Wild Turkey. I've um, I love the standard release. The 101 is one of my favorites. Long Branch is fantastic. Uh, also, the Rare Breed as well. I've been fortunate enough to um, to get a bottle of, all of which I have absolutely loved. Well, I had also bought a bottle of this in the past. Um, unfortunately, I got through it too quickly before I was able to actually do a review of it. So, you know, I found it on sale grabbed the bottle and now I am finally getting around to doing a much long awaited uh, review. So let's move on and um, get into the Wild Turkey Russell's Reserve. All right, on the nose. The initial aroma of the nose is like uh, sweet cherry cough drops or even like a, a cherry flavored cough syrup. I mean, I know not many people will kind of like that flavor. Fortunately for myself, I do. So if you are into that kind of taste, then I think just off the nose alone, um, this is heading in the right direction. Uh, sweet red apples, uh, brown sugar, uh, caramel, vanilla, uh, heaps of baking spices. So think along the lines of cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, I find that once you kind of get through those uh, initial notes, then that's when the barrel influence starts to come in. You do tend to get um, more of that um, that dry oakiness. Um, there is also a touch of smoke coming in from the barrel char. Uh, black pepper, honeysuckle, a touch of rye. I think I might also be picking up like a bit of a like a wheat uh, like a wheat grain element as well. Um, I'm not sure if wheat is used in the mash bill. Um, I mean, I know a lot of the times um, wheat is used in um, in bourbon. So, if any of you know if there is any wheat in the mash bill, then uh, please uh, drop a comment down below. I definitely would be interested to find out. Okay, let's move on to the palate and see how we go. So, cheers. So straight away you get this nice prickly spice followed through with this nice thick syrupy mouthfeel texture. Full mouth coating, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the 45% ABV on this is just absolutely spot on. And if you have been following the channel, um, then you would already be you might already be aware that my my favorite abv range is at the 45 to 46 um, range so far any whiskies that i've tried that have been uh, in that um, abv range have been absolutely on point all right so the cherry element is still there um, but now it's changed from that medicinal element it has it's more of like a like a tart cherry fruit so just imagine you've actually like bitten into kind of like a a tart uh cherry uh, again uh, lots of vanilla and caramel burnt sugar the oak 
is definitely more prominent on the palette than what it is on on the nose you will definitely notice more of a, a woody taste um uh, more spice again the black pepper um very prickly pepper kind of verging along the lines of like a a chili spice which is something that i do tend to get in some bourbons you do kind of get like a kind of like a, a habanero kick then the baking the baking spices come through so again more of the cinnamon i would say that the cinnamon element is more prominent than say the nutmeg or the cardamom although i am starting to get things like clove and anise as well the rye just kind of wraps it all up at the end in some ways it's almost it almost feels like having a like a gingerbread cookie but in in liquid form there are also some more earthier elements in there as well so uh think along the lines of uh, tobacco leaf cigar smoke and also just a, a nice balance of dark chocolate moving along to the finish it does get a little bit prickly at times um but i feel that if you're if you're taking your time with it and you're just sipping slowly then that intensity does tend to wear off you do get more of a, a balanced um, finish flavor profile so again uh, lots of vanilla um, caramel and then there's this nice like waft of smoke that comes in and just kind of blends around with everything and i'm actually surprised at actually how chocolatey um, the finish is I did pick up a bit of a chocolatey element on the palette, but it does um, reveal itself more um, in the finish. It becomes more creamy, uh, more buttery. What else? There's something else that I'm picking up as well. Yeah, actually, probably a bit more of a, an ashy element. So this, I think the one really good thing about this particular whiskey is that it kind of takes you on a roller coaster. Yes, you do have um, similar tastes from beginning to end. But each stage will also offer you something a little bit different. And I guess the more time um, that you allow yourself to, to sit with it, the more it will open up. Uh, being that it is also bottled at 45%, uh, it gives you a little bit more of that wiggle room if you want to, to be able to add a little bit of water to it. Um, even adding ice if that's your thing. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, a very versatile whiskey and I think it will be one that I will be uh, replenishing on my shelf um, quite frequently. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, that's all I really have to say about this at the moment. I mean, obviously I could keep um, going on more and more, um, but we'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, my name is Andrew and I will see you all again on the next video. Get this. Well, since you made it this far into the video, why not go ahead and check out some of the other reviews that I have done. I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.